We abuse land because we regard it as a commodity belonging to us. I mean, we were out here to conquer this country, not to make it better. Like winds and sunsets, wild things were taken for granted until progress began to do away with them. At the time where most of the country was abusing the land, Otto Leopold was saying, hold on, we need to understand that our community is less without that. When we see land as a community to which we belong, we may begin to use it with love and respect. It has taken, you know, 40, 50, or 60 years for us to catch up with the very clear meanings of the words that he was writing, in some cases, in the late 20s, the 30s, and the 40s. My wife got a book about Leopold. I thought, boy, if I'd just read this 30 years ago, I could have saved a lot of time and effort. Where a white pine and a red birch are crowding each other. I love all trees. And the amazing thing pine. is, after all these years, the interest in Leopold just continues to grow. It's still read as a contemporary because his ideas are still not only so current, they're still so far ahead of us. We have lost sight of so much magic in the land, spiritual values. It is time to uh, construct or reconstruct an ethic. I do not imply that this philosophy of land was always clear to me. It is rather the end result of a life journey. Aldo Leopold.